Hey folks, hope you're doing well out there today. What we're going to have a look at are some Gonzo multi-tools. So we've got some of the different sizes here today and we're going to take a look at them just so anyone that's interested can know a little bit about the size comparisons and about the tool functionalities. Here we have the G101, the 104, the 202, and the 301B. So let's get to it. First we're going to take a look at the smaller one and I'll tell you what I'll start with this one. This is probably the one that I've used the most. This is the G104 which is silver. Notice how small it is. Fairly lightweight. Now the 101 is pretty much the exact same it is except for the coloring and the style with the cutouts there you can see the differences as far as tools they're exactly the same so we'll just stick to this one here so as you saw it did come with a nice little case nylon fits in there real nice gonzo label even has a belt loop on it let's get right into looking at this thing so typical pliers. These seem really durable so far. You can see there they're spring operated. I've done a little bit of testing of the pliers. Not a whole lot. Uh, one thing I'll use old pill bottles and just kind of rip on it. See if that does any damage to these small pliers. haven't bent there's no play and that's not much of a test but it's what I've done so let's start typical can opener now these are not locking none of these lock small screwdriver it looks to be an all it's not very sharp at all a little ooh, that's sharp look at that true blood so a little saw now are you going to go out cut down trees no on the other side here we have the nail file Phillips head bigger flathead and blade little bitty blade eh doesn't really feel that sharp alright let's see how it does on the paper test here just regular paper yeah, so it's definitely not sharp at all stab and look how rough yeah so not a winner in that you could probably hit it fairly easily on a stone. So let's put this up and there you have it. That's the G104 Gonzo Multi-Tool. Okay moving on to the bigger brother. This is the G202. Now just comparing that to the smaller brother very similar in design. Well let's take a look at the G202 now. Like anything, no. Pliers, normal needle nose, wire cutters. Again, the large, larger spring here. So, comes back. All of the blades and tools are on the outside. So we'll start with this one over here. Saw. Now that looks a little better there. Even has a little hook remover on the end of it. Now, again, this does not lock. All right, let's get to it. Here we have another awl with bigger and it has the hole here to thread. 
continuing on. Now, what is that? Well, what I forgot to show you is in the case, and this is a very nice, sturdy, thick case. And what's cool is it comes with this toolkit. And it has its own sleeve in there to hold it. And as you can see, it comes with the adapter that goes to the piece I just showed you. And then several models, Phillips, flat, a couple Allen keys. All right. So this piece, let's go ahead and close that down. I just showed you this and this go together and notice it's magnetic watch cool now the other side is also magnetic and it doesn't fall off. Rattles a little bit, but not falling off. I like that feature. Uh, and the last item, now everything here is nail nicked, is our straight style blade. Let's do a really quick test here. All right, it's uh, it's okay. Not too bad there for. Actually, it's pretty decent. Can't complain. Just wish it locked. It does not lock. But I don't think that's a big deal. With these, you're not going to be using these to process a lot. Now let's continue to the other side of the G202. So here is your serrated blade. Here's the can opener. Pretty standard edition. And it does come with a flathead, even though it has all of those in the toolkit. Because if you just needed a small one quick for repairs, this would work last but not least. A pair of scissors. But notice these do have the spring and these actually feel like really good scissors got oil on them let's see how it does I like it so all you have to do with these is turn it like that Hold it down. All right, so there's the 202. First impressions, I like it. Hefty, feels very durable and solid. All right, let's put this up. See how easy it packs. Throw that in the pocket. Throw that down. Nice solid snap. Belt loop on the sheath. Looks like good quality to me. Okay, let's take a look at this last one for the day. This is the G301B Special Edition. Comes in a little nicer box here than typical. But it looks like the exact same sheath. Oh, and all of these did come with, I uh, did mention this in the other one because I didn't show you the boxing, but all of these come with instructions on what they are describing the functionality if you'd like pause and read alright so here's what that looks like straight from the box comes in a little plastic 
tool. Oh, gold tools. Check it out. Sweet. Gold. Gold and black. And red. Sweet. Now, looks pretty much like the other. Very much like it, actually. In size. But you'll see here, not in total design. Let's start out with, again, typical plot. And this one feels a little more stiff than the first one. or earlier. And that feels better. Feels like a larger spring. It's more responsive. Now it does have the same pliers, needle nose, and cutters. Now let's take a look at some of the best features of this special edition G301. As you can see here, there's little thumb stud right there, and right there, and right there. Now, what do we have? First, let's take a look on this side. You'll notice one hand operation. That's pretty sweet. Now, also, see here at these little tabs, if I can get it in the light properly. These blades lock, and to release them, you just pull that down, and then that releases the blade. Again, one thumb operation, release that blade. I like that. Now, this saw looks a lot like the other saw, but we've just got this added lock and release. Very cool. We have our serrated blade on this side feels very sharp so with the other hand very cool push it down open unlock shut it now here we have again the adapter for the tool kit we know that works well and Pretty much the same all as the other model. So this is very, looking very similar to the 202, only it has the one-handed operation and the locking mechanisms. So let's look at the other side. Here we have our main blade, thumb opening, easy lock, locks up well little bit of blade play there. Yeah, it definitely has some play in it. On this side, same can opener as before. And let's find the thumb neck. Scissors, scissors. Very cool. So I really like these scissors. Fold those back. Oh. Look at there, see? Couldn't do it. Got to unlock it, then fold it. And then finally the same smaller flathead. Alright, so there's the G301B Special Edition. Very cool functionality. The one-handed opening and locking mechanisms. So for the extra money, you will get pretty much a better knife than the 202 because you're paying for the lock and the one-handed opening. Now just to do a quick comparison of a tool most of you probably know this is the Leatherman Surge about the same length a tad shorter and it's a little more narrow than the Surge up top and wider at the bottom And here is the little G104 with the Leatherman Surge. For those of you interested in the white, we'll start with the little 104. So approximately 3 ounces. The scale's kind of old, but 
we'll go with three ounces on that one. Now the G202. We'll go with 9.1 ounces. Now the G301. Hmm, almost an ounce heavier. We'll go with 10.1 on that. Wow. So those extra features definitely added the ounce. Now for comparison, the Leatherman Surge. We know this thing's heavy. So we'll just call that one 12.2 ounces. Okay, and in case any of you were wondering, the Gonzo pouch and the Leatherman Surge, it goes in, but it's a little rattly, and it just barely will snap. Technically, it does fit. I will be putting specs below for these, each individual knife, so check that out. Folks, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And leave me a comment. As always, thank you for watching. Have a good day.